The marshmallow test is a really great way to show how children delay gratification. We tried it out with the four children we've been following since September 2010, Alfie, Millie, Mackay, and Pratmesh. Here's how it works. We had each child on their own sit at the table at a desk with uh, a plate and one marshmallow. They could either choose to eat the marshmallow, the one marshmallow right then and there, or they could wait until I came back into the room and have two marshmallows. I left them alone in the room for 15 minutes. Take a look. The marshmallow test has been used for decades by psychologists. It's been used with children to predict later academic success, including literacy, SAT scores, and other academic outcomes. There's no definitive answers from the marshmallow test. It's not a matter of passing or failing. What we're looking for is whether children can really resist this piece of white candy sitting in front of them that's sweet, that, you know, the smell of it, the allure of the marshmallow. In Pratmesh's case, we really saw this added curiosity because he had never actually tasted a marshmallow before. All of the children managed to show some level of self-control and resist the temptation to eat the whole marshmallow. As you can see from the footage, you can catch a glimpse into children's ability to control their impulses. This ability, which is developed around the time of kindergarten, can be linked to other outcomes later in life. At the end, the marshmallows were in kind of different states. Some had been squished, ripped apart, nibbled around. There was this temptation and there was this impulse to kind of try it out 